If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that. I've got some time. Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Mister, can we talk? Sorry. Let's talk when you're free. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. Just be a minute. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Yes, what is it? Where are we headed? That's on account of how I never met her. I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. Where are we headed?
Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Oh, I don't know. If it was me, I'd be glad to volunteer. Keeping others alive, that'd be a beautiful gift to leave. But none of the folk you used had a say. You didn't ask, ma'am. And what about my dad? I talk to his grave every Saturday. Is... is he even there? Robert is just where you left him, dear. He died too long ago. By now, he's not but a skeleton. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. 